Morning everyone. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Guitar. Uh, today we're going to talk about Jimmy Eat World's The Middle. Uh, rhythmically, pretty simple song. Uh, all you rock and rollers out there are going to uh, be able to follow along with the rhythm really quickly. I'll show you the intro and the chords for the rhythm, which are very, very basic, very basic chords. Uh, the tricky stuff is the solo. It's a super fun solo to play but it has some intricacies and it's on the major side. It's in D major, uh, which is gonna be a little bit different than some of you might be used to playing. It's not your basic uh, uh, form one pentatonics uh, type of solo. Um, it's, it's really fun. I'll show you note for note how I do it. It may not be exactly how it's done on the album, but it seems to be pretty close and it gets the job done. So without any further ado, Jimmy Eat World, the middle. So let's play some guitar. All right, we're back. So uh, the intro uh, is one of those that you can usually just figure out by ear. It's um, uh, straight ace, uh, thumping, um, no chords on the intro, and we're gonna follow this D major pattern. I'm gonna start with my two finger on the A string fifth fret, and we're gonna be putting a shape below that. Uh, your one finger on the D string fourth fret, and it's going to start there with so a couple of hits on the D on the fourth string and then we're going to slide that down to the second fret on the D string and we're going to go to the fourth fret on the A string we're going to slide that up to up to D on the uh, A string fifth fret A string fourth fret major chord. So all together, I'm going to play it slower. At, at tempo. chords and this and the chorus chords as well are going to be D A and G now uh, you could play them I guess down here at the nut which is open position chords D A and G um, I prefer uh, because you're just chunking the one note really through the through the verses uh, and it's just that steady chunk uh, I think the bar chords are just as easy, less, less, uh, well, they're, they're easier for me. If you prefer the open position chords, they work too. Um, and the, in the rhythm, you're just going to be thumping that D note and I'm, I'm making the bar cause sometimes I add a little bit of the chord in there and you're just going to be playing those straight A's. Again, but now we're just going to let them ring out. It just think. So now uh, for the solo, That's, uh, those are all the chords that are in the song right there. Uh, when you listen to it, you'll see how they lay out real easy. Uh, just get the rhythm down, uh, get the timing of it. There's some hits in there where they have little pauses before, you'll notice that as well. Uh, now for the solo. The solo is, is pretty cool. It's all in D major, um, as far as I can see. And uh, uh, it has a lot of hammer-ons and pull-offs, and it almost has sort of a country feel to it in a way. It's not country, but it, almost feels country for me some, for some reason. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to do a series of three pull-offs to get started. Um, and it's a hammer-on pull-off to an open string. And we're going to start with your one finger on the B string at the second fret. And we're going to hammer on to the third fret on the B and then pull them off. And then we're going to move to this uh, G string, same thing. And then the D string, same thing. And then we're going to hit the fourth string on the D as we come down. Open D. And then we're going to walk that up. I'm going back to that D string for another pull off. Four string on the A and finishes on that D. One more time. And then we're going to play this little this little riff where it plays. string starts on the seventh fret five four five four five five four five so far the whole first piece again The second one, it's the same lick again at the beginning. And now this time we're going to play, start on the seventh. Right? This little double, he doubles up a little lick here between, it starts on the seventh fret on the D string. And that's seven, five, four. So that second part, starting at the beginning again. a position change I'm gonna take my one finger up to the G string on the seventh fret and we're gonna go stay on that G string and I'm gonna go seven nine eleven twelve sounds like and after we make that climb seven nine eleven twelve on the G string we're gonna do a tremolo picking that starts on the 10th fret high E. It's going to walk down from 10, 9, 7, 5. And then, this is the cool part. Uh, it's going to start, with, I just use my two finger, and I'm going to start on the 8th, uh, uh, fret B string and I'm going to strike the B string and the E string every time I walk this down and, and it's going to walk down from the A, 7th on the B, 5th on the B, 3rd on the B, and 2 on the B. And 
and that gives a lot of tension. That we keep that nine on top the whole way down. And then with two open, open B, open E at the end. Okay, so the whole solo together, the whole thing. sloppy. I'll give it one more shot. Follow along if you want. Those are all the parts and then you're right back into the the verses again with the thump and then the big chorus outro with the full chords remember it's just D A and G in those chords uh, when you listen to it you should have it no problem uh, I hope that solo was helpful it took me a little while to figure that out and find a, get a grip on playing that uh, if you have any questions for me please comment below I'd be more than happy to answer your uh, questions uh, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm doing. Uh, more content to come, so let's play guitar. Woo!